What's up guys? Today we're going to attempt to clean and lap valves for our B20 cylinder head and get it all reassembled today. So let's go get started. Alright guys, so you take your valve. Take your suction cup mate the two together make sure that it's clean focus try and get it as centered as possible push it on there tight make sure they don't come off take your lamping compound bell seat Okay. Take your oil. You're going to lube up your stem. I don't care what oil you use. I don't care if you don't you don't need to drench it, but make sure you put oil on it. Otherwise, you'll wear the stem and you're wasting your time. Just dip my finger into it. Lube up the shaft. Giggity. Slide it into the seat. When you do this, make sure it's lubed up again. Slam it against the seat. And then it's easy as this. Push, it. Push down firmly. You don't need to bear down on it. In and out. You want to spin the the valve every once in a while because as it's running it will come out and spin. You can hear the pitch. You're going to pull it out, clean it off, check your work, clean the seat, check it. I know there's other videos out there of using a drill and uh, the suction cup or a rubber hose. Please don't do that. Um, if you've never done valves before, please do it by hand first so you can get a feel for it. Um, you're more likely to mess up the valve seat or the valves and ruin your head or ruin your valves uh, if you've never done this before. I'll post a picture of a clean valve all done and the dirty valve right here. So what you're trying to get out is all the, see the little pitting yeah. on the valves. Um, these weren't too bad. So that's why I decided to just uh, lap them and I don't have to send them off to machine shop to get them all cleaned up. So after I've checked everything, you're going to repeat the process until it's where it should be. Now, if you get anything or the slightest compound on your suction cup, it's going to come off. Just clean it all off, stick it back on. Also guys, I forgot to mention, um, before you lap the valves, make sure that the guides are clean 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 like this should be the last process you do um, after all cleanup of the head uh, and I still take uh, I would use brake clean or something like that but I'm out and I don't want to run to the store because I'm being lazy um, so I just use some uh, acetone and go get yourself a, a, a I don't know what the hell this is called um, squeeze bottle if I can find it, I will put a link in the description below um, for these bottles. These are actually really great. Um, 
you just take it and squeeze the bottle. Let's see, can you see? And make sure the seat, the guide is clean. All that. So after you you rinse it out and all that stuff with the acetone, you go ahead and blow it out. Blow out the guide real good. Just to make sure that it's as clean as possible because you don't want anything in the guide when you stick the valve in to scratch the guide, scar it. Um, that's going to cause you a lot of problems. You know, it'll have to go to a machine shop and have to put new guides in. I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of these up, put you guys on a time lapse. Maybe come back here and there to show you some little things. Uh, but let's get this done. <laughs> Also, I'm just using um, off-the-shelf valve grinding compound by uh, Permatec. Th this is just, it's a little bit of a harder grit. It's not a fine grit. You can buy uh, a two-step kit with a finer compound. So you would do this and then the finer compound. And it will get you uh, a more polished uh, valve seat I did not buy that because again I need to get this done and back in the CRV to get the daily going again um, but this will work but it you know if, if you have more time and you want to uh, have a perfect seat then then that's the route that I would go if you're not going to send it to a machine shop already um, and you just want to do it out of your garage. Some people say to put a little bit of oil on the suction cup, but sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Also, try not to get too frustrated um, if it's your first time. It may take two or three times to get the valve seat right and correct because uh, if it's really pitted uh, it's not going to come out the first time or maybe not even the second time that's the problem i'm having with this one now they do make compound where you can check the valve seat to make sure that it's sealing all the way around um, perfectly uh, I don't have any of that. I'm just going to roll with it because like I said, I got to get this thing done and these valves seats aren't that bad. I'm just being picky and want to clean them up a bit. We will have another motor that we're building that we are going to do that to. Uh, we'll lap the valves, do all that jazz, and then uh, check them to make sure that they are perfect. Um, I will probably get the uh, two compound um valve lapping kit also when we do that other uh b20 i'm gonna go ahead and knock these out that way we can assemble the head all right so now that we got everything clean and lapped and everything's how it should be. See, all nice and shiny. Now you go ahead and clean everything as clean as you can for final assembly. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now.
I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to put the valve stem seals on. Try and do this one handed. So you take 10 millimeter socket, right? Whoop, 10 mil. I put it on an extension so I have something to hold. You can use a shorter one, doesn't matter. You take it and you put the valve stem seal on the, whoop, not in frame. The valve stem seal on the end of the socket. Pick the one you're gonna do. Uh, let's just make it see there. Put it on and then push and you'll hear it pop. And that's it. Make sure it doesn't come off. It should be good. I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of these on then I'll be back. Until I die. All right, guys. So this is how I am putting the valves back in to the head. You take your uh, cup of just oil, any kind of oil, I don't care, motor oil, whatever, G40. Put a little bit on the stem. Not much, just a little. Hey, look, there's a valve stem seal on there. Slide it in. So when I took them apart, I used this 7 8 O2 sensor socket. And a clamp. But going back together, it's kind of hard to get the uh, retainers in there. So I took a spare 5 8 socket, half inch drive, probably doesn't matter, um, and cut the shit out of it. So you take your screen. Um, slide it on. <clears throat> Take the end of your clamp without the squeeze apart. Place it on the bottom of your valve. Take your little chingadera thing here. Place it on and squeeze it down just past where the retainer is going to sit, right there. So when you put the retainer in, this will move and you can pop it in there and it holds it in place. Well, you get the other one to put the other one in. And then let me show you how it's set up. So you've got that. And then you come around here. And you see it sits on the end of the valve right there. Okay, for the 800th time. Take the retainer clip, place it on the valve stem. And then you can move the valve spring and it will pop in right there. 
the way it holds it well you get the other one and do the same thing this is very difficult if you have fat fingers Seats are in, pop your clip, and, and there you go. I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of these on, time lapse, that way we can move on to the next step. Until I die. <laughs> What's up guys we're gonna cut the video there uh we have the head all assembled and the next video will be getting the motor together and possibly putting it in the crv that way we can get on to bigger and better things don't forget to comment and like and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys next week deuces <laughs>